Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Grim here and welcome back to Ingest to Mobile News. This is where we talk about the challenges, the arena season character, the chests that are in the store, the special offers and we talk about if they are worth your money, your gems, your energy and your time. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell button. We also, it might open some vanish chests in this video. But yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. So we're going to start this one off with the uh, challenge character, which is going to be Sub-Zero. Taking a look at him, his first ability doesn't do anything, his second ability is going to be a freeze and uh, the fact that it's a freeze is honestly amazing because freezes are doing the same thing as stuns though they are not susceptible to stun resistance so this is a 100% guaranteed stun unless the character is of course uh, freeze resistance resistant which does not happen that often. Like, I think only uh, Sub-Zero and Captain Cold uh, and some embosses are, are freeze resistant, but yeah. Uh, and especially will work together with the passive. The passive will allow you to clone an opponent. Yes, yeah, there is not some reason, by the way. And you can play with that cloned opponent. And you might have seen some pretty cool videos of this uh, with people having a no threat sub zero team cloning a black manta and then beating the enemy with it. And that's indeed cool, but at the same time, in order to do that, you are going to need to have a pretty high level sub zero and you're going to need to play pretty damn well. And when you get to that point, you're most likely not going to need to use teams like this to get some uh, arena points to get by. But with that being said, sub zero is a fine character. He'll not do much in uh, raids or solo raids, but he will be good enough for arena and champions arena should you farm his challenge no you shouldn't farm his challenge he's in the uh, arena store get him from there get him with arena medals because the arena store is in such a state right now that energy is more valuable than arena medals so definitely get him from the arena store not necessarily from the challenges last time we talked about brainiac challenge for a while i promise farm him you need him for the league of anarchy team you need him for the black manta team farm him we've talked about him so many times now the arena season character is going to be uh, just like batman so just like batman is going to uh, not do anything on this special one pretty much not do anything on the special 3 pretty much and the special 2 will give him something like uh, uh, some dot damage other than damage that he normally does where his let's say unique character 6R is in the passive so he will uh, give uh, armor piercing uh, he will get armor piercing after using special 1 for a number of seconds but that's, that, that's terrible that's a terrible start to his passive because First of all, you'll deal more damage if you do the special uh, tree or whatever special you want to use with high combo rather than using a special one and then using that one with armor pierce because this is not it's simply not how the game functions. And other than that, 4 seconds are most likely not going to be good enough to build high enough combo or put yourself in a good situation. So it's a passive that does not work well, to put it short. The second thing is going to be the interesting thing, which will be a shield. Acting pretty much like an armored superman passive, denying the first ability on our Just League team. So he's a decent character to use in Arena for the Just League team, but at the same time he's by far the weakest Just League member, and he's not really doing much. And he's often enough in Arena seasons, he's been five times last year. So farm him, but don't gem refresh for this one. Just okay, don't. now getting into a store section, we got the Brainiac Legendary Chest. This will give you some chances to get Brainiac. Usually with Legendary characters, this is like the most guaranteed way to unlock them gradually but for Brainiac don't do this he's in the challenges you can farm him from the challenges this is one of the worst chests in the game you can actually buy the Brainiac legendary chest so just stay away from it Black Manta Avenger chest this will be quite expensive but it has uh, higher increased odds for Black Manta and Kim Flan Sakomen it's going to be overall a pretty decent chest it's going to be overall a pretty decent chest like Still don't necessarily recommend you buy this because uh, it's not on sale and as 99.99% of the chests in there to mobile if they are not on sale they are most like not worth your gems but uh, I, I guess you could try and get this but nah, I don't really recommend it next up we got immortal combat uh, premium chest like if you are a new player starting out the game get this rather than getting uh, the uh, hero chest uh, if not then uh, you shouldn't even care about this now getting into special offers Kryptonite uh, sorry bundle like don't get it because you usually get better bundles when there are let's say some uh, specific offers or some events uh, Multiverse white canary I wouldn't really go for this uh, Like no if, if you want to buy a four star character there are far better characters to buy and the multiverse white canary is definitely not one of them Suicide so Squad Enchantress, like, look, look, my dude, if you're going to pay 100 bucks for a legendary character, you do you, my dude, nobody's judging you, but at the very least pick a better one. 
Pick Black Manta, pick Arkham Knight, Batman, even uh, Gorilla Grodd at this point, but don't go with Enchantress. But definitely pay the 10 bucks for her gears if you really want to get her geared up and going, because uh, the alternative is spending all the way up to 40k gems on her uh, gear chest, and that's just not going to be good enough. Nightwing gears, I guess you can get them from here since they are great job exclusive, though you, don't, you are in no rush to gear him by no means, so you can hold on to that. Uh, Silver Banshee gears, worthless, they are in her challenge, don't buy that. Mega Artifact and Reforge Bundle, this was here previously, and uh, look, you're going to get some pretty good stuff in terms of uh, artifact materials, and those Reforges, those... Uh, Epic artifact reforges are going to be uh, pretty much the most valuable resource in the game. So on that uh, part, this is a good offer, but on the other hand, you're going to get a lot of artifacts from here, but from what I've seen myself and what I've seen uh, at other people, the drops from here are horrendous, they, they, are, they are just so garbage. So it's up to you if you want to buy this for the artifact reforges, like if you got a beefed up enough account, this would be, let's say, worth more than buying a 4 star legendary, but if not, then wait for better offers. Though again, those artifact reforges are pretty damn juicy, pretty damn juicy, not gonna lie. And yeah, is there anything else? Secrets of the Lanterns is going to be Sub-Zero, don't get it, not worth it. And yeah, with that being said, let's open a few, one of the, uh, a few vendor chests. Like, I know I just have a very small amount of gems and I only have enough for three, by the way. A chest opening compilation will come later today, so make sure you uh, stay tuned for that one. But let's open three here. Like, I've seen so many people getting lucky in getting Black Manta on the first try. And uh, you guys made a pretty decent point, I guess, though I don't believe in those things, but you said I should open them one by one and I'd have better odds. Oh, wow, 20 Red Hood Shards. There go, 500 gems. I regret doing this already. Oh, another gold. What were the chances? Pretty high looking at the chest chances. I got a 3% chance to get something good. Let's call it a 6% chance because there's also Harley and Entangling Poison Ivy and stuff. Oh my god, we got ourselves a raid and 20 shards for raid and let's go. I'm so happy. Ah, why did I do this? But yeah, chest opening compilation coming in pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Actually, before I go, if you got something like a chest opening for Black Manta Avengers chest, just record it and send it to my Discord server so I can make a compilation out of it and share it with more people. Maybe comment on it. I'll give you credits in the uh, pinned comment in the description to your video. And yeah, we're also working on making a new role for people who send video chest openings on my Discord server, so you can they can kind of be rewarded with that role. But yeah, honestly, it's mostly for me, right? It gets me views, make makes good content, people enjoy it. So yeah, if you open some, make sure you record it and like send it to Google Drive or upload it on YouTube. It's pretty easy to upload it on YouTube. But yeah, that, th thanks very much for that. You can do that for it, any chest openings. Uh, I'll, I'll take anything. But yeah, thank you.